The first eye. I think most of us remember our first time inhaling the Zaza, cause for the unlucky few who got hit with that paranoid pack and started bugging out like that Szechuan sauce dude at McDonald's, they probably wrote off the grass as an unholy manifestation of the bull himself. For me, my first sight was a truly enlightening moment, as I ain't no dum dum, so I took the proper pre precautions to ensure I wasn't gonna be laying on the bed having down flashbacks cause my mom came home and wanted me to do some chores or something. But anyway, the first time high experience is different for everybody, but it always starts with the securing of the bag. Now, depending on how old you were and where you live, this part of the first high was either the easiest or the most stressful, because nowadays mofos can go to a damn tree and acquire the holiest and strongest grass in the universe like a damn candy bar, but back in the wild west, you had to deal with these dudes called plugs, and if you were just a normal kid buying an illegal item from some dude named Spider, it was really scary. Like me and my homies always imagined they'd be all tattooed up, packing heat in every pocket, looking like Mike Tyson when he got out of jail. In reality, they were usually just normal dudes trying to make a quick buck. And also, now that I'm older, I've kind of realized all these plugs with tattoos and nicknames like Scorpion or some shit were literally just wannabe thugs who just listened to a bit too much UK drill and made it their whole personality overnight. But anyway, once you secured the bag, you had to move on to setting the time and place. Now, if you had a friend with his own crib or with parents who frequently left the house unattended, this was easy, but if not, well, that's where a lot of these bad trips happened. Mofos were fiending to get high so bad, a lot of them decided, fuck it, let's just get high at school, or some crazy like that. And let me tell you, you gotta mentally be got David Goggins if you get high for the first time at school and don't start tweaking. Even after I had smoked up a good amount, I still didn't consider getting high at school a chill experience. It was a mission every single time. Like, however calm you thought you were, all it took was one... Uh, Mr. C, can you tell me the answer to question 14, please? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, question 14, uh, well, the answer... Excuse me, Mr. C, are you on something? Well, shit. Juvie it is, I guess. But hey, I do know dudes who did this for their first and survived. And big props to them, just couldn't be me. And I don't recommend it be you either. Another popular option, which was kind of in the middle, was just getting faded outside at the park on a weekend or something. This was much more chill, but the problem of randoms walking around and the fear of getting an unexpected call from your parents or something was still quite prevalent. Also, another downside, coma is quite easily catchable. So if you puffed on that za for too long, you might have gotten a bad trip because you got glued to the park bench. Speaking of puffing for too long, choosing the amount. Last part, but arguably the most important, is obviously choosing the size of the portion. Now, depending on your friends and if they were heads or not, they could have told you anything from yeah man, so uh, a good first sit is uh, this entire one gram lift. Uh, inhale it all and uh, you should feel something. To so yeah, this molecule should be enough for your first time. It's, 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 it's got a good amount of atoms in it. In reality, it's somewhere in the middle, cause being it's your first time, your tolerance doesn't exist yet, so even smelling some premium wood might have gotten you high. Then again, if the stuff wasn't premium, you might have been left disappointed at barely feeling anything and writing it off as yeah, I'm just built different, I guess. It don't work on me. And actually, for some reason, a lot of dudes don't feel anything their first time, including me. I always imagined there being some wall of defense in my body, and with every hit, it got weaker, until finally it broke and opened the floodgates for the green magic to flow through. But there is a final step that a lot of people forget to do, and that is enjoying the high. So yeah, don't try to control it, flow with it. You get me? Especially if you alone. And also, my first time was alone. And if you want to know about what it's like to be high solo, watch the video on the screen. See you there.